oh, this is not good. This is not good. My worst nightmare has finally come true. They have released mystery products at the dollar store. And you all know how much I cave when it comes to a mystery product. What is up my breaking family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. And that's right, you did not hear me incorrectly at the beginning of today's video. There is now mystery type items at dollar general. Now the reason that is so not good for me is because one, I always cave when it comes to a mystery item and two, I love the dollar store. So right there, for me, that is a mixture for disaster. So my Pokemon collectors, here is the new item popping up exclusively at Dollar General Store. As you can see right here, it says right on the front, only at Dollar General. And the weird thing about this item is, it is a newer item popping up at Dollar General Stores within the past, uh, probably past two, two and a half weeks and it's kind of flying underneath the radar. No one's been talking about it at all, which is very, very weird and unusual. I don't know if a lot of people have discovered these yet, but we're gonna open up a bunch of them in today's video. So you may be thinking, what is so special about this item right here? I mean, it's only two mini booster packs from the dollar store and one bonus card. What can be so great about that? Well, here is the chase aspect of it. Flip it over on the back right here includes two mini booster packs, one bonus card, and then approximate odds per pack of finding special bonus cards. Look at this, special promo cards, one in every six packs, so packs meaning this whole package together, um, one in every six packs, a foil or rare card, one in every 25 packs, and then here we go, here's the chase, original chase cards, one in every three thousand packs that's right three thousand packs look for original base card of charizard blastoise bulbasaur venusaur and more that statement i legit laughed at when i was in the store because not because i i don't like bulbasaur i love me some bulbasaur i got a huge bulbasaur plush right back there look at this charizard whoo Arguably the most sought after card from base set. Blastoise, another highly sought after valuable card from base set. And you would think Venusaur would be the next one to say, but no, we put in Bulbasaur and then we say Venusaur. I mean, honestly, you probably could have just said Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, and more, but throw in Bulbasaur in there, showing Bulbasaur some respect, so I can respect that very, very much. Now, these are $3 each. You do get two booster packs, one bonus card. And I got a bunch of them right here. I got about 23 of these all together and we are going to open it up and see what the odds are of getting some of these special cards or a chase card or whatever. We have a bunch, look at this. There is a bunch, let's open every single one of them up right now. Now usually when you see a dollar store booster pack, you just see it like this. It's, it's hanging on the shelf at Dollar General. They're just $1, these are real Pokemon cards. But this time around, they're in this package, two of them, exact same thing. Like I said, these are $3 though, and uh, right there, they are packaged by the people that usually do those mystery boxes. So let's go ahead and open these up right here. Starting it off, let's see if we get any special cards or anything along those lines. So right there, we have a throw. It's just a regular common card, so no not in that one. We have evolutions and another evolutions. Let's go ahead, put that right over there. There's no code card. Remember that, no code card in dollar store booster packs. If there is gonna be anything um, as far as an ultra rare or a rare reverse hollow, it is gonna be the middle card. You can just kind of put it to the back if you're doing the card trick. We have a Magnemite, Switch, and a reverse hollow Caterpie. So already starting off with the reverse hollow. That's not too bad in terms of dollar store booster packs. Now remember these are exclusive to Dollar General. So do not go to Dollar Tree uh, looking for these. Machop, the Evolution Spray, and a Weedle. So right there, we spent $3 on that. Was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, we will have to keep opening some more of these to see if they really are worth it because you got to think with these packs technically are $1 each and you're paying another dollar for 
just one card, a chance at a chase card, a base set Pokemon card. Now these were three, like I said, these were $3 at my location. So that's what I got charged. Put that right over there. Put that there. All right, now I'm probably not gonna do the card trick for every single one of them because it's gonna take forever. Charizard Spirit Link and a Doug Trio. So we are coming out on top with a uh, rare Pokemon card in that one. Caterpie, how you doing Caterpie? And a Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy, I'll put that over there, and a Potion card. So I'm gonna probably stop doing the card trick. And you can see right here the sticker, um, it does say, if we can look at it a little bit closer, um, if found at other outlets, call that number. So they're being very protective about these only being sold at Dollar Generals, which they should be. It's exclusive to their store. So right there, I don't know if that is considered a special item. A uh, special promo card, that's definitely not a promo card. Foil or rare? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a foil or a rare. I would, it's, I mean, yeah, I would consider that a foil. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and set that at the top so we can kind of keep track of um, our odds of pulling something. I mean, we know the approximate odds right there, but I'm talking about my specific odds. All right, Rock Ruff. Oh, hey, nice, hollow rare. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll set that right there. Rock Ruff, how you doing, Rock Ruff? And going into the next one. Now I will, I'm gonna shed some light on some information about these. Now, I've actually been searching for these for about a week. Um, yeah, I would say probably about a week. I've been searching for them for about a week. Um, I found out through uh, through someone who through uh, through someone who works at a, at a Dollar General location, saying, "Hey, we're getting these new items in," um, and so. I've been on the lookout for him. Hypno, hey, how you doing, Hypno? And so, like I said, I've been uh, on the lookout for him. Sorry, I got distracted by cards. Uh, I've been on the lookout for him. So, I've been looking for him, and every time I would go in, I'd go back to where the Pokemon cards usually are, and then there was never, they were never there. And so, uh, me and Marie were in a Dollar General the other day, uh, getting some other things, not looking for Pokemon cards, and then there they were, by the register. So that is probably where you want to check is by the register. They also had this in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh form as well. So if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, they had uh, Yu-Gi-Oh versions as well. Barboach, hey, ultra rare goodness, Lycanroc GX, our first ultra rare pull of today's Pokemon card opening and a Machoke. So it looks like most of the booster packs are going to be Guardians Rising, Evolutions, and Breakpoint. I haven't seen anything different so far. Cottony, Carvana, Unana, and a Slow Bro. If you do find any of these and you find different booster packs, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear. Hey, look at that special promo card. Ash's Pikachu. So we'll put that right up there. I got to sleeve that Rock Ruff. Sorry. Rock Ruff. Or not Rock Ruff. Lycan Rock. I didn't mean to disrespect you, put you in a sleeve, right up there in the VIP section, the very important Pokemon section. Trash on the ground right over there. Breakpoint. So, uh, what was it? Promo cards are one in every 25? Promo cards, or yeah, special promo cards, one in every six, and then the foil and rare is one out of every 25. Hone Edge, Shinx, Doe Blade, and that thing. All right, next one. Grelp. Hey, another hollow rare. I will take it. And a delinquent going into the next one. These can be dangerous for me because I love, I love the chase. I always love the journey of everything, trying to find something. Um, and sometimes the journey is, is much more enjoyable than the pull itself. Uh, or e even the end result, even in life. Uh, sometimes the journey is just is much more enjoyable than the end result. So um, this could be very dangerous for me. I've only been to one location so far, and uh, I already want to go find some more. Snow Runt, Slow Poke, and a Multi Switch. Now, what I need all of you to do in the comment section down below is let me know: Is this something you? Hey, foil card. So one in every twenty-five. Uh, that would be considered a foil card, right? Um, 
Let me know if this is something you would pick up at your Dollar General if you saw them, or would you pass on these? Is it too much of a risk? Um, which if it is, I totally understand. These are not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I always cave when it comes to a good mystery product. And they're tempting me. They're tempting me with base set cards. Very Litwick and an energy. When you tempt me with a good base set card, I can't help it. I wonder if anybody is going to find uh, a base set Charizard in these. That would be very, very interesting. And interesting on the aspect because I would like to know, is it a shadowless base set Charizard? Is it a first edition base set Charizard? Or is it just unlimited? Um, and what's the condition of it like? Is it in really good condition? Does it have some scratches? Is it bent a little bit? Who knows? Or maybe it could be in really, really good condition. I always like to think of the positive. Maybe it's in uh, a really phenomenal condition and you can get it graded and it comes back like a PSA 9 or a 10. I have no idea. I always like to uh, be on the positive side though. Ash is Pikachu, another promo card. So it looks like those promo cards are pretty easy to pull. And it looks like most of them are going to be Ash's Pikachu. Trevenant, hey, another rare. We're actually getting a good amount of reverse hollows, foils, rares. It's so not bad. A great way to build up your collection. Um, maybe you're just getting back into Pokemon cards. You all know how much I love the dollar store, uh, dollar store booster packs. Uh, it's a great way to, like I said, if you're if you're getting back into collecting Pokemon cards, this is a a, a really real. That's a rare, isn't it? Yeah, that's a really, really good way to start building up your uh, Pokemon collection. Maybe you're not wanting to invest a lot of money right away into Pokemon cards. You know, spend a dollar on a booster pack, spend three dollars on one of these, get a couple cards, Beedrill, and uh, enjoy opening up some Pokemon packs, right? No matter what Pokemon pack you open up, it's just pure nostalgia, right? Because opening up Pokemon cards in general is nostalgic. All right, going into Guardians Rising. It'd be pretty pretty exciting to pull a um, double colorless energy from one of these. It'd be very interesting. All right. Guardians Rising, how you doing? Patrat. Ooh, nice. Hollow Rare Blissey and a Gothel Rita. Now, if a lot of you didn't know, as of yesterday, Sunday, um, I officially announced that energy... Uh, that I do now have uh, uh, memberships here on the channel, if that's something you are interested in. Uh, it's probably one of the most requested things that I have had here on the channel over uh, of the course of 2019 is, hey, are you going to do a channel membership at some point? And I thought about it for a while, and now we're finally doing it. So there is channel memberships. Uh, you'll see a little join button right beside where the subscribe button will be. So if you are interested in joining the membership, go for it. Totally do it. Um, but if you don't want to, no big deal. No big deal. Don't don't feel pressured at all. Uh, I'm not moving any content over to memberships. Uh, it's this. It's just purely extra content is going to go over there. Um, extra little videos. Maybe I'll do uh, little videos about some of my. Pokemon collection or like of maybe the macaroni and cheese stuff how I acquired that and kind of the history behind it You know quick little videos over there. There's also custom badges and emojis that um, we have on there right now And I'll be adding more of them soon. I have some more being worked on right now. So more of those will be added um, I'll be doing some discussions over there on maybe what types of videos you'd like to see in the future and you can partake in those discussions so uh, just extra stuff is going on over there. But like I said, you totally don't have to join. It's no big deal. There's just a lot of people that were interested in it, and I wanted to provide that, so. All right. Oh, there we go. Nostalgia. Nostalgia right there. That's what I'm talking about. Hollow Rare Gyarados. Only one Ultra Rare so far out of all of these. Um, I kind of expected that, so it's not like I'm surprised. And I do have to say, with those emojis and the badges, uh, we have more coming soon, like I just said, but there is a Team Marie one, and that seems to be everybody's favorite so far. Electabuzz, Drowsy, and a Metapod Pod. And another Evolution. Can we pull a Charizard in the Evolutions Booster Packs? Nidoran, Vault Picks, and a Switch. 
Now at the very end of today's video, we have to go into our countdown calendar right back there of Cosmic Eclipse. So we'll be doing our countdown calendar at the very end of today's video. We actually have a couple days to make up for. Wilmer, Tillo, and a Komala. So no chase card. We have about one, two, three, four, five packages left. Salazzle, that's a rare, right? Salazzle's a rare, yes. And Altar of the Sun. Next one, Guardians Rising. Slowpoke. All right, that's definitely, definitely not a chase card. Guardians Rising, Carvana, Unana, and Double Colorless Energy. No, it's a Ray Ray. I'll take it though. Energy. Mudbray. Oh, every time breaking family. Why do these Oracorios have to haunt me? I cannot open up Guardians Rising booster packs without there being an Oracorio somewhere in there. But luckily, I am not pulled the new Oracorio GX from Cosmic Eclipse. Hopefully, that's the last card that I pull from the set. Diglett, dig, Rattata, and a Pokedex. Going into the next Evolutions booster pack. Ghastly, 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 Charmander, and a Maintenance. We are coming towards the end, Breaking Family. I honestly don't know how I feel about these. I'm kind of up in the air right now. That's why I, uh, I always ask for your thoughts on things like this. How do you feel about this? Paying an extra dollar at a chance for a Chase Pokemon card? Cottony, Choice Band. Seems a little, I don't know. Seems a little bit on the on the pricier side. Rockruff, Barboach, and Clefable. All right, two more packages. I want to make sure that I'm not missing any because I have a mound. Oh, no, I am missing one. I have a mound of trash over here. So we have three more. Breakpoint. Would be nice if there was some different sets besides just these three. Ah, it's just Pikachu. But, you know, you'll, you take what you can get and you just enjoy it, right? Cricketot, Meow Stick, and a Bursting Balloon. A lot of you have been asking me if I'm going to do more of the Meyer exclusive mystery power boxes. Well, you all are in luck because I have found some more and there will be probably two openings this week uh, here on the channel because I found a lot of them and there was a buy one, get one 50% off sale going on. So we will be opening up some more, trying to pull some vintage Pokemon booster packs uh, as well as trying to pull a graded Pokemon card. We have not pulled one yet, and we're going to keep going until we finally pull one. Full heal. Next evolutions. Onyx. Dugong. And a Porygon. Yikes. This is rough. Okay, that's weird. There's two, two plastic covers on that. This is rough. Only one ultra rare. Better than none. I'm going to appreciate it. No chase card at all bummer but one out of every three thousand packs the odds are against you barboach phantom and a fletchlander fly away bird fly away all right now this is not the last booster pack we still have to do the countdown calendar right back there clefairy and a chandelure energy and that thing right there i'm gonna have a lot of things to pick up okay so uh, just kind of looking at the odds right here, I don't think I missed uh, really too much. I don't think I missed anything at all as far as the bonus cards inside of it. We got one, two, three, four promos. And as far as foil and rare cards, we got one, two, three, four. So uh, that's kind of right with the odds. Um, and then we did pull one ultra rare. No chase cards, but that is perfectly okay. Let's grab the countdown calendar right back here. We have three days to do. So we have day number nine, which is today, uh, day number eight, and day number seven. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, we got to make up for a couple days. So we are starting with day number seven. This was actually supposed to be Saturday's video, and I totally forgot about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the booster packs out, and then we will open them up. But right here is the nice fact of the day. It says, Deli Bird carry food bundled up in their tails. Once an explorer reached the peak of the world's highest mountain, thanks to a deli bird sharing food. Very nice of that deli bird. 
right there is a picture of Deli Bird inside. Uh, day number eight, which is all the way down here, and it's gonna make it very difficult to me, for me to open this up and hold it at the same time. Uh, okay, there we go. Day number eight would have been Sunday. Uh, it says, Togepi stores up feelings of happiness exuded by people inside their shells, uh, then share them with others. Very nice. And then we see an adorable Togepi right there. How you doing, adorable Togepi? And then right up here, day number nine, which is right here. I'm trying to make sure there is not too bad of a glare. Jigglypuff, oh yes, the vocal cords of Jigglypuff can freely adjust the wavelength of their voices. And then we have a nice picture of a Jigglypuff inside. So we're going all the way until we get to day 25 with that. So you can tune in for more videos and do the countdown with us. All right, here is our three booster packs right here. We're gonna open up all three of them. We have pulled an ultra rare out of one of those so far. So let's see if we can make that happen again with Cosmic Eclipse booster packs right now. Tapig, Togedomaru, Whalmer, Onyx, Palpitoad, Energy, Duskalops, Professor, how you doing? Pig Knight, Litleo, and Heliolisk. I'm gonna set those right over there. There's the code card for that one. I never keep any of the code cards in the videos. You all can always grab them. So if you enjoy a good code card, you know you can always come here and get a couple of those. Hit the notification bell right at the bottom of your screen to get notified whenever a new video goes up. I upload four to five times every single week. Having a great time with all of you, the Breaking Family. And by the way, hit that subscribe button, become part of the Breaking Family. We're just having a good time here, being ourselves in a positive environment, sharing our passion of Pokemon with one another. We do uh, newer Pokemon stuff. We do older vintage Pokemon stuff as well. We do a mixture of everything here on the channel because I love, love the entire world of Pokemon. I love it all. All right, last booster pack, Breaking Family. Do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Come on, come on, let's try to get, what, 1,000 likes? 1,000 likes on this video. Let's not go too crazy. Just a simple 1,000 likes is all, is all I'm asking for. All right, and I'm throwing cards everywhere like a madman. Energy, Cynthia and Caitlin still need the full art version of that. Vaporeon, Absol, Reverse Hollow. Code card. And a Rosa for the rare. No ultra rare. That's perfectly okay. Make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Are you going to be picking up any of those dollar general packs to try to find those Chase base set Pokemon cards? Good luck. One in every 3,000 packs. My Breaking Family, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with this weird person right here. If today was a rough day for you, Remember that tomorrow is a new day, a new day for you to wake up and give it your best. Don't forget, life is awesome and so are you. I love every single one of you amazing people and I will see all of you, all of you in the next video. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and high five.